Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. There was a large earthquake near Tobolo, Indonesia. No tsunami warning. That's good. This is in the area of the Halamara uh, Arch, which probably the last six months to the year has been really active. You can see all the earthquakes here. It's a microplate. Earth J, who has an online website, has this microplate all drawn out here. You can go to his website for past earthquakes that he's reported about. Here you can see we got the Pacific plate uh, moving, you know, in this direction by the Philippine Sea plate, the Bandan Sea, and New Guinea. There's a rift here that causes sea floor spreading because of uh, subduction and the interaction of the plates, which creates a volcanic arch. I'll bring it down a little bit here. Yeah, there's um, Tobolo, Indonesia, right there. And then to the north is that 6.7. One report was sent in to EMSC, but it's still early. Here we got Cagayan de Oro. Now they're 590 kilometers northwest. That would be about 367 miles. And they said they felt it here in CDO. There's a link to another page where he talks about the large earthquakes that often happen in that location. Yeah, it's um, a lot of it's compressional because of the subduction. Here we got uh, 2014, a 7.1. Also a 6.5 and a 6.8 also in 2014. Scientists believe that the um, plate is broken. So that's why there is an increase in earthquakes in this location. So that would probably make the arc um, actually grow. Here we got the fault, the fault line to actually grow because, yeah, it's separated. And that would mean more and larger earthquakes. This magnitude 6.7 earthquake occurred at 11.57 p.m. local time. No damage and no tsunami warning because it was so deep. Five people sent in felt reports to USGS to you feel it? website they gave it an intensity level of four which you can see right there they don't have the felt reports marked out i don't know if you can see the uh, light blue and yellow lines of how far it was felt yeah, over there by um tobolo oh my mistake yeah there is one report from monado which is 335 kilometers um southwest so that would be about 208 miles. There's actually two reports there. There's another one. And they gave it an intensity level of four. Oh, and then we got some more up here too. Uh, let's see, looks like this might be the farthest one. Um, let me pull this up. There, intensity level two, one report from there. That's 585 kilometers to the uh, north. So that would be 363 miles. Let me see if I got any more over there. Uh, closer to the epicenter, uh, Davo City. Let's see. We got intensity level 2 over there. Tina Mining, uh, intensity level 2. And then going a little bit closer. Uh, Silway, intensity level 2, 337 kilometers. So that's about it. Okay. Here on this um, USGS or uh, NOAA map, you can see there's no buoys going off. So yeah, no tsunami. Thank God for that. But anyways, yeah, if you live there or know anyone that does live there, yeah, thank God. Uh, yeah, where's the next large earthquake around the world going to happen? Yeah, it's all caused by subduction and the uh, regeneration of uh, the earth. Yeah, coming up, creating all these volcanic islands. Yeah, and this is, like I said, a, a spreading center. Yeah, always be prepared for a disaster, especially people that live along coastal areas for tsunamis. You know, that could happen in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.